Hey, so I want to start like a little new series of cooking with me because that's going to encourage me to cook more at home. Um, so today we're going to be making like a sloppy joes, but like mini versions. I'm going to put them in the oven with these little like this, the brioche little mini rolls or whatever. Just a heads up, this is not my recipe. I just looked it up on this app called Cooklist which it tells you what you can make with ingredients that you have at home. And it lets you kind of substitute for what you do have at home. So it's not gonna hurt my feelings. If you guys say it looks nasty or tastes nasty, I mean, the, the ingredients and all that stuff is nasty. Not gonna hurt my feelings. It's not my recipe. It's not like my Mima's recipe or anything like that. I just looked it up. I'm gonna find out myself today too, if it tastes good or not. So for the Sloppy Joes, it says we need uh, brown sugar, yellow mustard, ketchup, garlic powder, ground beef, and onions. Um, there's a few things I am gonna be substituting. Uh, I'm not using ground beef, I'm using turkey, that's what I have. I'm not using a Dijon mustard, I'm using honey mustard, that's what I have. Everything else is practically the same. Oh, and I'm not using like the big, obviously I just showed you guys, I'm not using the big patties, I mean patties. I'm not using the big buns, I'm using the small ones. Anyway. The turkey should be defrosted by now. Oh, it is not. While the meat is defrosting, I'm gonna go ahead and try to mimic. Uh, I'm obsessed with the Chick Fil A Sun Joy, but again, I'm trying to save money and stuff like that. So I brought ingredients to try to make it at home. I brought uh, powdered iced tea, lemonade, lemons and sugar. Don't comment too much on like how I stand and stuff. I have scoliosis and it makes me like insecure. Um, but every single time, side note, every single time I schedule for my scoliosis appointment, literally some major event happens in my life that stops me from being able to get my surgery. So it's like at this point, is that a sign from the universe? I'm not meant to get it. I don't know, but it's so like, ugh. Anyway, so I have my water. I know um, this is not like the best lemonade. My lemonade. Same thing with iced tea, it's not the healthiest. Got the iced tea. Um, the sugar, I just get it in bulk from Sprouts. And then, so growing up, whenever I saw my mom make a lemonade or a iced tea, she always added a dash of vanilla, which to me, I always liked the like, I don't know, I liked it. So I would do it. And then some extra lemons. Just because when I do drink the Chick-fil-A lemonade, I love tasting the little like lemon things. So yeah, just, you know, to give it a little more real flavor. And then this is the jug I'm gonna be using. So I'll go ahead and grab my cups, like my measuring cups and stuff like that. And yeah, we'll get started. And then if you guys are interested in the actual real recipe that I'm modifying, let me know and I can link it in the comments. But this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, so since I'm using the powder, I think this is 32 ounces, the jar. It says a third cup of the powder. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Hi, pumpkin. Pumpkin's just watching. Okay, so third cup. Ooh, level scoop. Always level school. Then, whoop. four cups of water. And then in the recipe on the website, it asks for eight cups of water and like two tea bags. And I'm doing the powder. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. Okay. <laughs> One. Oh my, oh my. Pumpkin pie. My goal for December, you guys, is to not eat outside, y'all. For real. 
That is like the biggest goal. Two. I should have measured this out beforehand. meals you know because that's what like kind of kills me what stumps me is that I'm not really creative with my meals I always end up doing like rice and something else so that's why I always you know end up eating from outside because I want something from outside but my goal is to recreate whatever I want from outside and just make it at home because I wanna three and then four Dang, that took up almost all the lemonade. Okay, and then I, I calls for a half a cup of sugar. Where's my lid? Oh. Okay, half a cup of sugar. Oh, well, guys, I'm so excited for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna let you guys know from now, there's no veggies, okay? I didn't know how to incorporate the veggies into it, okay? It's just french fries, sunjoy, and sloppy joes. And that's another thing I have to start doing, I'm incorporating more veggies. It calls for um, the original recipe calls for a cup, obviously, because it's doing more. But I'm doing half level scoop. Always level your scoop. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to test try it just like this. Just like how the recipe calls before I add in my little spruce. My little spruce. Oh, I spruce it up. Okay, let's mix this all in. Mm -hmm. Mine is like bad. <laughs> it's gross. Oh, oh I have a shot cup. Enjoy, but it's not bad. Okay, now I'm gonna add a lemon. I'm gonna start with one lemon and then see if I need the second one. Personally, me, what I like to do with like lemons or lime is like I roll it on the counter just to make sure I get all like the juices and stuff. I'm 
get the seeds out. And then I just have to leave the seeds. Okay, I can do one more line. 11. Oh my gosh! Okay, y'all, it's starting to taste. <laughs> it is low key starting to taste like it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Chick fil A. I think you guys are about to lose me as a customer. Because I can go to Chick fil A just for their, their Sun Joy, their fries, and then their spicy chicken sandwich. And I got these fries, the Alexa like seasoned fries. I hear those are like really good. So those are good with the Sun Joy. And then I just gotta learn how to make a spicy chicken sandwich. Adios, Chick fil A. And then for the vanilla, you're adding literally just a dash, like the tiniest bit you can think of. I got this one from Sprouts. Y'all, I'm so excited. Like half a cap full. Oh, this one's okay. Okay, it feels like the turkey is the frosted, so now I'm gonna drain it and then transfer it over to a different bowl. Next part is super controversial. I do clean my meat. I just um, put some lemon juice over it with some salt, like rub it in and then like, you know, rinse it out, whatever. Um, I know it's controversial because it's about like spreading germs or something. But the thing is, after I'm done cooking, I clean my sink and whenever I cook, it's enough for a few days. And I don't like leaving a sponge for more than a few days. So once I clean my sink after making meat, if that makes sense, I throw out the sponge. Cause whatever dinner i'm making with meat means it's gonna last me like three four days so yeah so up to you you don't have to clean your meat i don't care if you do if you don't do you i don't care do you side note another thing i really need to invest in i didn't even know it was a thing until like the other day is an electric like salt grinder because i can this by hand and oh my gosh I feel like I'm breaking my wrist when they're doing this. But the electric one looks so freaking cool. I definitely want to like get one of those. So these are the fries I'm going to be making. Um, I already put the oven to start warming up at 425 because it looks like this is going to take longer than the actual Flappy Joe's. Honestly, the more I think about it, by the end of it, it's going to be more like mini cheeseburgers than Slappy Joe's because on these buns, I'm going to butter the top and put some sesame seeds on it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of shredded uh, cheddar cheese and throw it in the oven as well just for an extra cook up. So yeah, I think it's going to be more like mini cheeseburgers. But these say cook for 24 minutes. Our oven sucks. I don't think it's calibrated correctly or I don't know. I, I just don't think it's correct. 
So I'm going to put it for like 35 minutes. I'm going to put it for an extra 10 minutes. Just flipping them. It says flip halfway, but I never listen to that. I flip it every 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, these are the seasoned ones. And then for the meat, for the actual like meat recipe, I am using two pounds instead of the one pound. So I am doubling everything. So I'm about to throw the meat and the onions in. So it's calling for a half a cup of onions now. Yeah. Hey, that's what it looks like right now. I have it on low. It is just the meat and the onions. Once it's no longer pink, then I'll go ahead and add in the ketchup, the mustard, brown sugar, the water, uh, garlic powder, and then salt and pepper. All right, so I'm gonna lower this while I add in all the stuff I need to add in, which is a teaspoon of garlic powder. This I'm not gonna level because I like garlic, but it's okay if it's a little extra. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Anytime I'm adding in ingredients, sorry, this is like the highest I can get it. I mix in. So add the garlic powder, then I mix it all in. It calls for two tablespoons, I mean two teaspoons of Dijon mustard that I am using the honey mustard. Same thing with this, I like honey mustard, so I'm not really tripping that it's not leveled. tablespoons of brown sugar my brown sugar is hard as a rock so I have to go in there and like kind of scoop it out with my fingers try to massage it first like really hard Yo, this is like so tough. Okay, that's about two. I mean, that's one teaspoon. Um, tablespoon. Now, let's get the other tablespoon. Better as we can get it. Okay. I'll just add in the extras that fell. I don't mind. put like bread in the um, sugar it'll make it soft again I don't know how true that is anyway so I'll mix that in now and then salt and pepper to taste
lastly, well, not lastly. Um, also, one cup of water. This is the half cup measuring thing, so that's what I'm gonna use too. And then one and a half cups of ketchup. Like the whole bottle. I'm gonna use this to like scoop out the rest of the ketchup that's in there. it all in slowly so it doesn't like spill over let me raise it a little bit so now i have it like on low medium i would use next time definitely like a deeper pan because this is like trying to Bill. okay i'll be back once i have it like all cooked down because right now this is looking like a goop okay. i feel like such an idiot i forgot to drain my meat before i added in all the ingredients and stuff i'm so dumb so now i have like this soup of a mess i have to try to cook down i feel so dumb i feel so dumb <sighs> this is what i gotta cook down okay so i cooked it on high for 10 minutes like you know Everything is getting everywhere, but this is as good as I can get it. Um, I'm gonna use spatula to kind of like press it on the side while I'm putting it on top of the bun. Try to get the rest out. But don't be like me. Remember to drain your meat before you do the seasonings and all that stuff. Okay, so I melted two tablespoons of butter. Got my sesame seeds here, and I put the burgers or whatever they are now i don't know what they what you want to consider them as now in the oven for five minutes go ahead and take them out Mine has cheese, my husband didn't want cheese. The fries still have like five more minutes. I'm gonna just butter them up. Okay, this is this is what we're working with now. I'm gonna serve the plates and then I'll come back with an honest review again since it's not my recipe. I'm not gonna hurt like you know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest on whether this tasted good or not. And I'll be honest too on whether i think it tasted bad because of where i messed up or just the recipe itself but yeah okay guys it wasn't bad at all i'll give it a 7 out of 10 the only two things i would definitely change oh i forgot to mention in the beginning i've never had sloppy joes before so to me it tasted good i don't know what it's technically supposed to taste like it tasted good. It tasted just like burger mashed up with ketchup, really. <laughs> but um, two things I would change next time is I would definitely use the beef meat next time. Um, 
I haven't had turkey since 2017, 2016. And now I remember why I stopped eating turkey. I don't like that little, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a weird aftertaste turkey has. I don't really like it. And then... What was the second one? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I would use a little, for mine, use a little less meat on the bread. Because I hate when... I know it's supposed to be sloppy because it's sloppy joes. But I, I personally hate when I'm trying to take a bite. And the bread is like getting soggy because it's soaking up everything. And obviously drain my meat because I'm pretty sure not draining my meat has something to do with that. But um, yeah, other than that, it's not bad. I'm going to also look up another recipe of Sloppy Joe to see if it's any different than this one. Because I don't know. I don't know why I thought, I don't even know what I thought Sloppy Joe was supposed to taste like.